So I just bought a barn unseen. It's supposed to have a few old semis in it, and I've been looking for a few. Let's get to it. Let's get on this computer. So I had a few photos and that's about all I have. So apparently this barn has a few trucks in it. You can kind of see one off in the side. I believe that's an old Ford 9000. Older than our style Ford we have on our dealer lot. I don't know if it's running. So I bought this off of auction. A local farmer is selling it. So I decided just to put a bid on it. I paid uh, I paid thirty thousand for ever all the contents in the barn. The barn is going to be part of the land, so I don't have to worry about that. But everything inside the barn, I basically get sight unseen. I paid thirty grand. I know at least has one truck. You can see. I'm hoping it has something else. Otherwise, this might be a bad purchase. First, before we do that, we got to go pick up an auger. So. Our old auger that we used to load uh, grain uh, kind of fell apart, so I got rid of it. I need to get another one. I need to sell the wheat. Wheat is selling big time. For whatever reason, uh, Jake's co-op has been slacking. It's still not the highest uh, sellers, so we're going to end up selling at Birksdale Co-op. At least I hope so, as long as uh, price sticks. I have to call and make sure it still is. but. As long as we can get these uh, semis loaded quick enough and get them in today, we're going to sell at a pretty good price. Looks like uh, Grant might be out uh, celebrating with his family or something Thanksgiving because he hasn't put anything away yet. Going to have to ask him if he's going to need, he wants my help uh, harvesting these soybeans over here. Did he have a bad germination in the center of his field? Looks like the center of that field right there doesn't have anything planted. So this is our, our barley field right here. We got a good crop of barley off of it. Unfortunately, we didn't catch the straw in time to bale it. Was going to try to do that, but uh, basically by the time I got to it, it rained on it. So it was pretty much ruined. So we're pulling our brandit. Uh, auger here back to the farm looks like it's pulling pretty well we got to take it slow so I'm gonna go stop by Casey's and get me a cup of coffee I'm so glad I still don't have to harvest soybeans cuz them clouds it make it awful hard for them soybeans to dry out with this weather so we're gonna get this back home and start hauling some wheat all right, so we're gonna pull this in here. We already have the semi here. Oh, yep, it's the first bin, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the first bin. We're gonna have to get this uh, Peterbilt started up. Anyways, I need to move it out of the way so I can get this over there. Beautiful baby up. What? Oh man, I'm losing paint off my fenders. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to get that in the shop and clean it touch that up. Can't, that's disgraceful. Oh, there we go. Start it up. So I'm going to let this thing warm up before I uh, end up moving it. Definitely need to warm it up for our air brakes. So I need to get the auger right to this uh, unload spout here. I'd like to get it facing that way. Maybe I can I'll try to back it up and try to move it by hand, maybe. Alright, so I think that should be about good enough. There we go. Alright, so we'll move this out of the way. Put this over here by the International. I guess uh, I don't have much use for that International, but it works pretty good for an auger tractor, that's for sure. All right, so we got a full load finally of wheat we got to haul to the elevator or the co-op. Looks like we might be a little bit overweight. Let's 
get this thing rolling down the highway. Go. Let's go. Got a heavy load for this Peterbilt. Got to shift the gears. Perfect. Running down. Man, there's still a lot of corn in the field still. Farmers need to get to it. Or hire me, one of the two. We are fortunate to have this many co-ops around this local area. So we have one in Burksville. We got one in City of Moore. And then we have another one that Jake works at. Kind of in between the two. So we have a lot of options around here. Sell grain to get uh, fertilizer prices. To get uh, seed prices. We got it made this city. Ooh, are we going to stop? Are we going to stop? Oh, okay. let stop just in time. Alright, so let's pull this in here. Unload this truck full of wheat. Got just one more load to unload. There we go. Alright, that hopper, we got to pull ahead. It's not as nice as an elevator because you have to can't just unload both at the same time. There we go. Got that one unloading. All right. First load is off loaded. So we made what? About just under 25,000. Look at my beautiful dealership. Need to get this truck back over there so I can sell it. So basically, I bought that barn because I want to try to get some older trucks at my lot. Uh, farmers around here usually don't buy nice new trucks. They buy used trucks that have ridden the road for a few years because that's all they really need. They don't need something that uh, is brand spanking new. They'd rather spend that on a harvester or a tractor instead of a semi that they only use a few times out of the year. So I'm thinking beans I have a lot of farmers around here it's smart to get older trucks and I think I'll have a better chance selling them, making some profit. Alright, got it filling up again. See this won't be a full load I don't believe but hopefully yep we got about 700. Actually, I was wrong. This will be another full load. Got that unloading in there. Unload this side. Unloading in there nicely. Filling that truck up. Moolah in the tank. All right. So we'll shut this off here. Shut this little thing off. Alright, that's shut off, so let's get this load to town. Close the cover there. Pull this giant rig, so you got to take this slow because definitely don't want to spill this trailer. Alright, we are hauling another load to town. Come on, Peterbilt, you can do it. So we got to keep a lookout. We don't want to see the DOT because we are a little bit heavy. All right. Don't think we're going to have a problem. Most farmers uh, overload their semis. I know it's not a safe thing to do for other drivers, but sometimes you just got to get it done. It's a beautiful looking farmhouse over there. And a nice barn. I do like the outskirts of this city. So all the old houses coming up to it. Burksville is a beautiful little town I'd like to grow up by. Only thing you have to worry about in Burksville is random pressure washers in the middle of the street. Don't know what that's about. All right, looks like we gotta wait for the train. These trains are long around here. The train's loud. Well, looks like we hit the tail end of it. Alright, it's gone. The train has passed. Come on, raise up. There you go. 
All right, unwind this uh, one first, or back hopper. Watch that weight come off them axles over there. All right, unwind this one now. There we go. Money in the pocket. So we are rich, at least richer than what we've been recently, that's for sure. All right, that one's done. Always make sure you shut your gates before you leave because otherwise you will put it on the ground, trust me. There we go. Pull this dream machine out of there. I think that's the only load we're gonna haul today. So I'm gonna take this back and then I'm going to try to find that barn I purchased. All right, just making our final turn, and we'll park this over by our bins. All right, shut this old girl down. Now I gotta try to find this barn I purchased, so let's see if we can go find it. So I kind of have a roundabout area, so we actually uh, went around this farm earlier in the year. Uh, they sold the whole farm finally. Uh, a lot of the place they didn't clean up for totally, so they just uh, sold some of the contents and some of the buildings uh, at the auction site unseen, so that way it was easier for them. So this is actually supposed to be pretty close to Grant's house, which is kind of odd. You know, I was thinking he might try to outbid me, uh, but he... Uh, probably wasn't in the area it doesn't look like he's he's around right now been thinking about hooking my uh, truck up to his uh, little pace car over there and uh, pulling it around I think I'd have fun with that pace car that thing is fast so this is the farm that sold I did not purchase this farm or any of the contents so all this land already sold a lot of these buildings though uh, you sold for the items with an N. Uh, this was an old building off kind of the off the actual yard a little bit so it's over here to the side. Looks like it's been neglected for a while. They must have just used it for storage. That's why I'm hoping that there's something in there. So Hole. I th yep, this is it. From the pictures, this looks like it's it. Yep. So, looks like the doors are padlocked. So, I think we're going to have to get our bolt colors. Good thing I brought them along. Not a terrible building. Just looks like uh, they haven't... Uh, trimmed around it for the longest time. All right, cut the chain here. Open up this door. Oh, man. Yes. So there was two vehicles in here, or two semis. Uh, what is this? An uh, Ford Aeromax L900. Yeah, it's seen its day. It's definitely an old farm rig. It definitely looks like it could use a coat of paint. Man, that thing's a little uh, faded. Got an International Lodestar 1600. So, not a bad truck. Definitely a good old farm truck. What do we got here? Some type of old uh, grain setup here. Let's see. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Hi. What well, did they park this in there? This no. That is a that is a Maclean 379 day cab Peterbilt. Surprise. I don't what the heck were they putting this in here? What? This thing is way too nice. I think we got a serious deal off of this uh, truck alone. Man. 
this thing start? No. Dead. Probably a dead battery. I have to guess. Uh, the gas, yeah. The gas looks pretty clean. Hmm. I don't know. It's probably just a dead battery, I hope. Let's see if, uh, the insides of this load star. This ain't too bad. Definitely got old school interior. Oh man, this thing's starting to start. Yeah. Yeah, this thing does start. I'm gonna shut it off and check the oil before I get too far ahead of myself. Probably should have did that first. Such a dummy. Should have did that first thing. All right, so the oil is good. Now let's see about this. Uh, Forward uh, arrow max. Well, well, this thing is dead. Looks like somebody stole the interior out of this thing. It's blank. Looks like we're probably gonna have to uh, trailer all of these. Uh, the international might be able to uh, limp home, but we're gonna have to get uh, air bubbles so we can fill up the tires. So I just probably gonna trailer them all. Uh, let's go back and get our uh, semi and trailer. Yeah, this ain't too far from our actual field, actually. It's only right over here. So we're gonna go back, get a uh, semi and trailer, and hopefully get that uh, all them semis loaded up so we can drag them home. We're gonna pull in here. Think I'm gonna use my Kenworth over there. We'll use that to uh, pull this trailers or pull these semis back. Kind of a tight fit over here. All these trucks I have. All right. Yeah. All right. Got through. Uh, Kenworth's over here. Got it displayed after I used it. All right. We'll start this girl up. A Duke of Hazard across the back here. There we go. Oh yeah, starts up. There we go. We'll let the air build up here. Which one do you prefer, this Peterbilt or the Kenworth? Peterbilt's definitely newer. I think I prefer the Peterbilt. Alright, let's see if we can get around here. Alright, so we just have to run this around the back of this building, hook up our low boy trailer. Alright, back this girl up, hook it up. Alright, looks like we're going to pull it out here nicely. So I do think I'm just going to load up my service truck so I have all the tools and everything. In case I need to jump it, fill up some tires. So I'll put this right here. Lower the ramp there. Uh, drive this service truck on it. And then we'll have that. Strap this down on there so this will work nicely. We'll have this to help us uh, do whatever we need to to get them trucks. Got some chains on it and everything in case we need to winch them up. This trailer's kind of nice because it has a winch on it, so if nothing else, we can just back it up and we'll winch them on. So now we need to strap this down here. Go. And lift up our back gate. Now we are ready to go. Headed down the road. Man, I like my service truck. Such a good looking rig. Alright, so we are pulling over here. So our building is right over here to the side. Don't know exactly where I'm going to want to unload this thing at. Probably just do it right in front of it, most likely. Yeah, don't get high centered, all right. So I think I'm just gonna try to back that trailer right up there and winch them trucks on. 
All right, so we've got to undo this. Undo it. I'm going to unload this first before we get too far back and then back up further. I do not like backing these things off of these trailers, especially when you've got bad mirrors like this truck does. Plan on backing this up here so I can use. I'm going to air up all the tires, or at least try to. Get our compressor running over here. Go. And we, uh, I'm gonna test all these tires, make sure they're aired up before we uh, start pulling them. So don't have. There was only a few that were uh, basically low. Luckily, everything on the forward took air. Tires ain't too bad. Nope. One of these didn't take air, so. It's unfortunate, but we'll at least be able to drag it on the back of the truck with uh, one aired up tire on the hub. Yep, there's another one didn't take air. I don't know if the B just didn't pop or what, but it's not too bad. We got one full one. Alright, so that's good. Alright, park that for the side for a bit. Alright, I'm gonna winch up the back gate and I'm gonna bark push it back farther now we go get that all right now I'm gonna back it up or that ramp down I mean all right so now we got to get this winch up here string this cable along wrench these up all right just winching this up here very slowly I'm gonna get some boards here and then get some boards right here and ramp that thing all the way up. All right, so got that. Now we got a one the wrench cable underneath this truck and get this other truck on there. All right, so we got both of them trucks on there now, looking good so far. So now we just have to get this other truck out of here, hopefully. Alright, so we are going to back this girl up. And uh, I think I'm going to try to pull this one out. At least try to, at least. Got to fill up these tires. Alright, now we got it hooked up, so we're going to try to drag it out so we can uh, hopefully get it on the back of that trailer. Alright, just got to drag it a little bit farther. Alright, that looks like it's uh, far enough right there. So now I got to get this, uh, unhook the chain. There we go. Got to lower this ramp. Alright, now we just got to get that winch out and uh, hopefully get this on there. Alright, so that it's going to be hanging off the back a little bit more than I want it to, that's for sure. Alright, we got it all loaded up. We're going to have to come back for our service truck here, but we'll shut that off. Take the keys with us. There's a lot of thefts around here. We'll shut up their barns for them. Just need to shut these up, so... Put these two doors up and uh, start headed off here. Whew, just barely got all them trucks on there, that's for sure. It's one overloaded semi. I'm gonna take it as slow as possible. Definitely don't want to take this fast. Gotta take it, creep this back. I'll take the side rows so that way we don't have to deal with traffic. Get the flashers on, even though we're on a country road. That way we are safe. That is a heavy load. We probably should have just took multiple loads. It would have been easier. Still making it down this road. Definitely creep it all the way back to our dealership. That's for sure. Nice and slow so we don't have to pick up some carnage. Alright, pulling it into the dealer now. I'm gonna unload these quickly here. Put them 
right, just park it right here for now. Gotta display these right away. So I actually got this thing running, check the oil. So this thing is the only one that's running so far. Took me a while, I got all the other ones parked in the bay. I'm gonna check this one out a little bit more. Park this in the bay here. Got all three trucks in the bay. I definitely think 30 grand was well worth it for these old time trucks. This old international, I'm gonna enjoy that one and uh, the Ford, I don't know. I just don't like really the looks of it, but it is definitely a work truck. It's definitely a farm truck. Peterbilt's beautiful like they always are. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.